Welcome to the fourth episode of Flipping Economics. In this episode, we look at the third and the fourth type of elasticity, cross-price elasticity and price elasticity of supply. Let's first look at cross-price elasticity. Cross-price elasticity measures the sensitivity of the quantity demanded of the product for specific changes in the price of the related product. Certain products are dependent on each other, for instance, a toothbrush and toothpaste are complementary products. The one cannot exist without the other. Cadbury and Nestle are substitute products, therefore the two products provide the same benefits. So if the one gets too expensive, then just buy the other one. The same formula are used to calculate cross-price elasticity as to price elasticity of demand. The point formula and the arc formula. Again, it is extremely important to categorize your answer you obtain from the arc formula, the point formula. With cross-price elasticity, if you obtain a positive answer, you are dealing with a substitute product. If you obtain a negative answer, you are dealing with a complementary product. The last type of elasticity is price elasticity of supply. Price elasticity of supply measures the sensitivity of the quantity supplied for a product to the changes in the price of the product. For example, if you are a farmer producing corn in the free state, and if the price of corn increases, the quantity supplied will usually increase as well. As with the case of price elasticity of demand, five different categories are available. The only difference is that we now work with supply curves and not demand curves. They are perfect inelastic supply, inelastic supply, elastic supply, perfect elastic supply and unitary elastic supply. It is furthermore extremely important to distinguish when you are dealing with price elasticity of demand when you are dealing with price elasticity of supply. Therefore, if, remember, demand is a negative slope. So if your answer is negative, you are working with price elasticity of demand. Supply has a positive slope. So if you obtain a positive answer, you are usually working with price elasticity of supply. In the next episode, we will look at the impact of price elasticity on total income.